Helicopters engineering marvels that defy gravity designed to transport, rescue, and conquer even the most challenging terrains. They're more than just flying machines, they're symbols of innovation, versatility, and human achievement. But have you ever wondered how helicopters come to life? How do these extraordinary machines go from a blank sheet of paper to taking flight? Join us as we take you behind the scenes of helicopter manufacturing, showcasing the detailed process from early design concepts to the final test flight. Every helicopter starts with a vision. A team of aerospace engineers, designers, and pilots come together to brainstorm ideas. These engineers envision a machine that can conquer the skies, serve in challenging missions, and provide safety and efficiency for its operators. The goal of the design is clear. Create something that balances power, stability, maneuverability, and safety, whether it's for commercial use, military, or rescue missions. The process begins with paper sketches, transforming into intricate 3D designs using computer-aided design, CAD software. This software simulates everything from aerodynamics and airflow to weight distribution. Each part of the helicopter is designed for optimal functionality. Every rotor blade, every fuselage curve, every control system, ensuring the helicopter will operate flawlessly when it leaves the factory floor. These simulations give engineers the ability to see how the helicopter behaves in different flying conditions, testing things like lift, drag, and stability. The designs are refined repeatedly based on data and feedback. With each iteration, they make sure it's not just a flying machine. It's a machine that meets the highest standards of performance and safety. After the design phase, the next step is selecting the right materials. Helicopters are built from a combination of metals and composites, each chosen for its unique properties. Lightweight yet strong, these materials can withstand extreme pressure, intense heat, and the demanding forces encountered during flight. Metals like titanium and aluminum are used for the structural components. Titanium, known for its high strength-to-weight ratio, is used in critical parts like the main rotor hub, ensuring durability without adding excessive weight. Aluminum alloys are used for the fuselage, offering a balance of lightness and resilience. Composites like carbon fiber and fiberglass are extensively used, particularly for the rotor blades. Carbon fiber is incredibly strong and lightweight, providing the strength needed to withstand the high-speed forces during flight while being light enough to reduce the overall weight of the helicopter. The manufacturing process begins with molding and shaping these materials into precise parts. Laser-guided cutting machines and high-pressure molding presses ensure that every piece is made to exact specifications. Any deviation from the design is immediately flagged as even the smallest imperfection can have serious consequences. Manufacturing a helicopter's components is an incredibly detailed process. The rotor blades, for example, are more than just large blades. They are finely tuned instruments that must withstand the forces of lift and thrust while being highly efficient in their operation. First, layers of carbon fiber and fiberglass are combined and shaped into the aerodynamic form needed to generate lift. These blades undergo rigorous testing for flexibility, strength, and weight distribution. They are then fitted with leading edge protection, which is crucial for preventing damage from bird strikes and other airborne debris. The main rotor hub, where the blades connect to the helicopter, is a vital component. It needs to allow for precise movement of the blades while maintaining stability. The tail rotor, responsible for controlling yaw, is assembled with equal precision. The transmission system, which transmits power from the engine to the rotors, is built to handle extreme forces. It's a complex assembly of gears and shafts that must operate without failure. Each component is machined with extreme care to ensure that it fits perfectly into the overall system. With all the components manufactured and tested, the assembly process begins. The main fuselage is first fitted with the internal systems, cabin, avionics, and other essential systems. The helicopter is then carefully brought together piece by piece. First, the landing gear is installed. Then, the engines are mounted. The engines are incredibly powerful, generating the thrust needed to lift and maneuver the aircraft. These engines undergo thorough testing to ensure they meet operational standards and can handle high-stress conditions. Next comes the installation of avionics, the brains of the helicopter. These include navigation systems, flight controls, and communications equipment. Each wire is meticulously routed through the helicopter to ensure there are no loose connections. 
With the cockpit now complete, technicians begin to install the rest of the systems, including hydraulics and electrical wiring. At this stage, the helicopter is starting to take shape, but it's still not ready to fly. A huge amount of work goes into wiring the avionics systems. These systems control everything from navigation to autopilot and the emergency response systems. Technicians must ensure that each system is connected correctly and is fully functional. Engineers install flight controls, ensuring that the pilot has a seamless interface with the helicopter. These systems need to be intuitive and responsive to ensure smooth and safe operation during flight. After months of design, manufacturing, and assembly, the helicopter is ready for its ultimate test, its first flight. Engineers, pilots, and technicians gather to ensure that everything is in perfect order before takeoff. During the test flight, pilots push the helicopter to its limits. They test its stability, speed, and maneuverability in real-world conditions. This is where the true performance of the helicopter is revealed. The test pilots execute a series of pre-planned maneuvers, including hovering, quick turns, and high-speed flight, to ensure the helicopter operates as intended. Any anomalies or issues discovered during the test flight are addressed immediately. Once the helicopter passes the test flight, it undergoes a final round of inspections and any adjustments are made. Before the helicopter is cleared for delivery, it undergoes a final round of quality checks. Every system is scrutinized once more, ensuring everything is working as it should. The engineers ensure that the rotor blades are perfectly balanced, the engines are performing optimally, and that all systems are calibrated to ensure safe operation. Once the final checks are complete, the helicopter is ready for its delivery. Whether it's heading to a military base, a search and rescue operation, or a private company, it has passed the rigorous process that ensures it will perform safely and reliably in the most demanding conditions. And that's how a helicopter is really made. From initial sketches and designs to the final test flight, it's a journey that involves innovation, precision, and collaboration. The next time you see a helicopter in the sky, remember the countless hours, expertise, and technology that went into creating this flying marvel. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey into the world of helicopter manufacturing. If you enjoyed this deep dive into aviation, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing insights into the world of engineering and technology. This is the Decode Lab. Until next time, stay curious and keep decoding.